We are outside Court 8F at the inquest uh, for the late Dr. Neil Agat, who died 38 years ago today in police detention in what was an apparent suicide. And the first witness on the stand is anti-apartheid activist uh, Mr. Ronnie Casrills, who spoke about how the apartheid government was at pains to explain to the media, to the South African citizens and to the world at large why there were so many deaths in detention. And they used a doctored version of an SACP document called Inkunuleko Freedom Number no. 2 to try and hide their misdeeds. Mr. Casrell joins me. Thank you so much. Mr. Casrell, why was it so important for you to highlight in your testimony today that this document was falsified to try and get the apartheid government to cover up their misdeeds? Well, absolutely, to get them off the hook uh, because they had murdered somebody. Uh, that's my belief. Uh, there is a view that, as well, that if suicide had taken place, this was induced by the abominable type of interrogation and torture that people underwent. But I think in most cases, those who the regime claimed had committed suicide uh, was actually a cover-up for the actual murder, the death of the victim the martyr uh, under this kind of brutality and interrogation. So what they were using in that period um, to justify their claim that suicide has taken place was a uh, issue of a underground pamphlet of the South African Communist Party of which I was a proud member uh, and in fact had a big role to play from exile in the, um, the writing of such a document, and this very document, by the way, number two and number one in Kulelekos, uh, together with Yusuf Dadu and Joe Slovo, leaders of the Communist Party, I worked in a committee with them, so I know what I'm talking about. I know these documents intimately, um, and it's not, not just me saying, in looking at the document, that this is falsified, uh, this is a doctored document, it's not the actual authentic document, document um, is not simply that I say so uh, because I was there and I produced, helped produce the document but it is so clumsy and cross uh, that, that it can easily be seen to have been doctored. Um, the particular part that they've doctored is the very end of the document, the last five lines under uh, a subheading called Stand Firm, which is an appeal, an instruction to uh, underground comrades like the late Armour Tim also murdered uh, in, in uh, 1971, uh, such as Neil Agate, um, as you say, 38 years ago today. And the key sentence that they've added is commit suicide. Uh, in detention uh, rather than give in, commit suicide. Um, and the point is that the policy of the South African Communist Party and the ANC was never to say to our, our members, you must commit suicide if you're under arrest. Um, you must withstand whatever treatment as much as you can. Uh, the question of even if you break and give some information, you're not disgraced. Uh, we had a rule that once a person from the underground had been captured, uh, the instruction would be hold out for at least 24 hours so the comrades of your underground cell could at least uh, make a clean getaway. Uh, out of danger. Um, so it was never our instruction and in fact what we did say to people is withstand as much as possible. Uh, tomorrow's another day. Survive for a court case where you can justify what you have done as Nelson Mandela and Sisulu and others had done. That, that became the tradition of people, ANC Communist Party. The court case was a new battleground. 
All right, so those are some of the top stories that we're checking for you here in the second hour on SA Today.